Please watch the video in high quality. This video will learn how to detect double click in Unity. I'll start by creating a script. We'll call it double click. And we'll attach it to any object in the scene. Make sure it's there. And double click to open it. I'll start by creating four variables. So the first variable will store the time the first click happen, left click happen. And the second, it's the stored, uh, it's the, the period we set between two, uh, two click, two left clicks in this case. So in my case, I put 0 0.5, half a second. So if the left click goes more than half a second between clicks, it won't be detected. So feel free to set a, a value that uh, you feel comfortable with or you like to achieve. The third variable is to, it's a Boolean type to, to, to it's called, it's time check allowed to check for, uh, the, 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 to, to, to set, we'll use it later to see if we could check for the time between clicks and it's set by default to true. And the fourth last uh, integer variable uh, and which is store the click uh, numbers, the number of clicks. Under the update, I will uh, start um, uh, checking for the mouse click. And in this case, we will we'll be searching or looking for the left clicks. So here I'm checking if the left uh, mouse button is being clicked, that's uh, represented by the zero. Then increase, uh, add one to the left click uh, account or numbers. And then uh, check if left click number is one and this the, the checking for left clicks is allowed. In other words, it's true. Then, uh, uh, record the first left click time using the time dot time and the start a core routine and pass a function or a method name called detect double left click. The next step will be creating that method. So the, it's a private method of type IE numerator because uh, this is the type of the coroutine method. And uh, first uh, we'll set the is, uh, time check allowed to false. And then we'll check while the time, the current time is less than the uh, first time left click that we recorded earlier uh, here plus the time between uh, left click. That's the time we would like to record or consider a left click, double uh, uh, double a click is a double a click. Uh, if it's exceed that time, it, it won't be considered. So uh, 
uh, for, for me I'm comfortable with half a second but you could set it uh, based on your preference and then uh, so if the uh, left click uh, number is two then um, I'm in this case I'm debugging log and uh, logging out the DA double click but you could also call a function uh, later based on the purpose of uh, the double click detection and then it uh, will yield uh, the return for a new wait for a new of uh, uh, wait for end of frame and then uh, we'll reset the left click number to zero and it's time checked allowed to uh, uh, true okay so if we save now if i press the play button and double click notice the uh, result here in the console the collapse every time i do double click thank you please like subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this